bitch's wife life. <laughs> and I want to talk about it alongside my basketball soul sister and fellow coach's wife, Nicole Kellogg. And even though we were wives of opposing teams on our previous journey, she's the furthest from a rival. We're going to bring our once private therapy sessions to you along with wise in the sports world and compare notes on how to cope with the stresses of a season. And right. hello, my name is Nicole Kellogg, wife of head coach Derek Kellogg, LIU Brooklyn men's basketball. My journey started way back in 1993 when I met Derek at UMass. He was a player at the time and since then I've had the pleasure of following him to five states five different coaching jobs. I left a piece of my heart in each state and had the pleasure of supporting numerous players along the way. I'm now happily landed back in my home state of New York. I'm here with my soul sister, Andrea, to share insight into the real lives of coaches' wives, but more importantly, to provide support, share stories, ideas, and inspirations to other wives around the country. We are here to use our coaching platform and include many other spouses, wives as our guests to share their own thoughts, ideas, inspirations, and stories about being a coach's wife or just life in general. I hope you enjoy tuning in and put your game face on because we got a lot to talk about. Has it been five? <laughs> five. <laughs> Did yeah. I count right? <laughs> I can't, at this point, I can't keep track. <laughs> it's funny new york though huh nicole nicole's in new, in new york. i am so happy to be back in new york what i part love of new york what part of new york i grew up in mayapak which is putnam county but dan when i get out of the house every morning and walk outside and look across the uh the river i see saint anthony's and i think about you you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, like yeah the player and then like also like the uh the first aid and driver's ed teacher there when my playing career fucking <laughs> <laughs> So I, I think every time I um I'm like looking at you guys right now, I can't stop thinking about um when we were on our trip on those quads, that quad ride that day through the mud. That's so fun. You remember those that? were the days. Yeah, we had so much fun. Well, as Danny was blowing by me on the quad, I was remembering back to our AU days when <laughs> we would get in a car and drive through Connecticut and just pick guys up to come meet Danny and his team. With I forget who was on your squad, but it was like James Scott and um Rod Rhodes. <laughs> Yeah, Roderick Rhodes. He was, and, and it felt like we played you guys every Sunday night at some random gym in New Jersey. And like I said, as you were blown by me in the quad, I remember like trying to chase you down. And I told Travis Best, catch him. I can't keep up with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you literally would play, right? Like the same AAU teams every weekend. And it was only like, you know, the best players because it was like so few teams. But and Derek was pain in the ass. He was like a, a, a ball hawk, you know, like, <laughs> he would let me go by him and bait me into it. Then he would slap the ball from behind to Travis. Travis then would throw it ahead to him and he would score. And I'd look like an idiot. But they, and, and then the, the question I had is they realized we had school on Mondays because I remember playing you guys. It felt like nine hours into New Jersey. I don't know how big New Jersey was back then, but. It felt like nine hours, and then we had school Monday morning Same at like time. seven. <laughs> so, and I never thought I'd be at the Jersey Shore down at LBI, but whatever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no doubt. Wayne Simone versus Rich Leary. Yes, yes, exactly. Mickey Walker mixed in. Yeah, Mickey was in there. We picked up guys from all over the place. I mean, it was amazing because Wayne would, we'd meet him in Hartford or wherever it was, and we would pick up a guy in Hartford, Waterbury. Bridgeport, Stanford, and then once in a while, grab a guy in Westchester on the way to play you guys and be like, oh, here's the thing yeah. this weekend. And that was the first year. Our senior year was the last year. Of, it was the first year of Vegas. And I, Exactly. And, I, and it felt like, well, we stayed at the Alexis Park. I don't know if you remember. You guys were there. We were there. And um, But it felt like that before the actual sneaker companies took over that those guys were just winging it on like a $2 budget. <laughs> Oh, one, can I tell one quick one? No, no, so Jay, right. no our audience doesn't care about what, right. right. So this is turning into the Danny Derek podcast. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll always, I'll we always, already lost about a freaking 
portion of percentage of our listeners. The audience has to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, sorry, guys. Yeah, but how excited are you for you guys for us to do this? Like, are you like this is something that we need to get out there because Nicole and I, if anybody's ever seen us together during our oh man, it's been bad. Like we've closed restaurants down, like I've told people before. We've laughed and then we've cried. We've been asked to leave. We've there has been so many different um, and we need to bring it to life because I know that there's so many other people in our position that don't know how all of us feel and for us to get it out it's like a therapy it's like to talk about it It makes you feel like you're real and you're not crazy and it's okay to have these feelings and how do you work it out so are what are some of the things that you guys I know we're gonna I talk a lot um I say things (laughs) that's what we love about she started by asking me a question. <laughs> and then I took it over. I, I, I do that. that all the time. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to learn a bit. What, 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 what are some of the things we cannot talk about at all? What? Well, like when you, when you suggest a player's role should change. Like Derek, no, she I'm should never talk about it. that. Because you don't know anything. Oh, you mean when I say they should start? Yeah, like she just, you know, she she. No, I'm talking like, about on the podcast. What am I not allowed to say that you would be like, why the fuck did you say that? Like what? Like what can I say? Like what can I talk about? I mean, every can I talk about stuff about you? I mean, I would like say like maybe no, like you know, like when we, you know, the coaches that I, I don't like in particular that we're playing against, I'd appreciate, <laughs> you know, like you all of them. <laughs> You know, maybe, maybe like when I like lose a recruit and then, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure the school cheated in some way and I come home and vent about the cheating, you yeah. probably shouldn't say. Definitely. I, uh, I no, yeah, 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 wait, wait I, won't. I won't. I won't even remember. Referees, won't. Are, referees are, you know, you can't definitely talk about them. That would. But not, we are no. going to be bringing in ref, refs' wives, though. We would They're okay, wives. but just not yeah. the refs. You know, yeah, their probably. wives probably go through a lot of shit too. Those okay. poor things. Yeah. In general, in general, we could talk about the referees though as a group. I, you know, just not singling them out, Derek would probably right. be. That's yeah, that's but that's hard to do. That is. But true. if you jump on a pod, if you jump on a pod in the same week and we both got screwed over by the refs, you should be allowed to talk about it. We will. Well, it's always the refs' fault, obviously. We all know that, right? right. So, like. Why not? Every time. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Oh my God. But I like this, you know, Derek DK, right? For because people have, you know, whether it's just, you know, fans or um, you know, just just people that that like sports to have no uh, real understanding of the stress on our family, our kids, our wives. Um yeah, we have a way of like burning off the pressure because we're out there coaching, kind of fighting for our lives while they have to kind of just like, you know, sit there and absorb it all. So, you know. And listen, they have to, they also have to listen. And if they're on social media, they have to see what people are saying about not only you and I, Dan, or our programs, but also sometimes our family members, whether it's our children or them themselves included. I mean, I think Nicole alluded to, we had, you know, notes put on our car at one time and some different stuff. And, and, and that's just not normal. So when people say either your job is the best job you could ever have being a coach or you make too much money or anything along those lines, there's also a lot of pressure and a lot of family tools. You know, we've moved, you know, three, four, five, six, seven times. Um, we actually been a part at different uh, junctures in our career. I know you've you know, gone back and forth from here to there and, and back. So it's not an easy road. And I think uh, these two being able to kind of get it out there and spend some time with other people's wives or, you know, referees, wives, coaches, wives, whatever it might be, and and just kind of go over some things that could be helpful. I think it's huge. Um, and funny too, like, <laughs> right. <laughs> how to make fun of it because some of the stuff you just can't believe, like he mentioned that, I'm sure I've told you the story, Andrea. I Dirk's one of his, First or second year? Am I allowed to say what they were? We went out for Chinese food in the town of Amherst. We're like, oh, family night. I got the baby carrier. I got my mother, my 65-year-old mother. We're so cute. Going out to dinner. Just a normal family. 
and I come out of the car, Derek's like, oh, somebody left something in the car. They must be seeing how great I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> must be a love letter. I know. Somebody loves us. You know, you're so great. We open the letter and it says, when are you going to earn your paycheck? <laughs> oh. I love them. Did they, did they leave a great? business card? Did they leave a card, their business card on yeah, there? I said, that? you know, oh. if they had any real balls, they would have left their number. We could have called them and discussed about like. Yeah, and everybody from Springfield had driven up 91 to see them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the stories. I'm sure you have them, both of you. And it's like, okay, I signed up for that. Derek signed up for that. But like someone like my mom and our kids and stuff, you're like, come on, you're going to do that with my mother, like in the car with us. Like, that's just, she didn't understand that. She felt so bad. Oh, Zarek, you know. I know. And then they keep talking about it. I'm like, it's not a big deal, mom. Like we've done, you know, this happens. Like right. people shit in your mailbox. They do this. They do that. It's, it is. Well, that was Rhode Island, right? You that was Rhode Island. She didn't even tell me. Wait, what? Somebody shit in your mailbox. <laughs> no, they <laughs> oh. might as well. That story would have gotten out. I'm like, that is the, that, I mean, that takes real freaking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it been, it would have had to, The mailbox, so it would have been probably had to move it upside down. People are capable of anything. Let me tell you. Anything. And, and it was like almost like them telling me, I know where you live kind of thing, you know, which freaked me the freight out. Yeah. So it was, you know, no, I ended up getting this big mailbox that had a lock and keys. Like, what the fuck do we have this mailbox? I'm like, there's a reason. Like, just yeah, people would leave horrible notes and messages in your mailbox. And, you know, and as much as you say you don't want to, you don't care, it's like somebody was at my house. They cared enough to do this, what they wrote. I mean, it went right down the shredder, you know, but I was like, you right. know, you can't help but think about it. And are they in the woods? Are they in the backyard? Do they know where right. you know? Like, I see them in the window behind you. Yeah. Right Derek, Derek, you're at least, I thought your, your anonymous fan uh, <laughs> was kinder. Because I think ours just said, like, go go back to New Jersey. Yeah. Like, they didn't want me to <laughs> just earn my check. They wanted me out of there. Yeah. Well, so, the problem with those, the state schools, or, you know, UMass, Rhode Island, whatever, is they put your highest paid state employee every time <laughs> right around christmas oh right thank right. you that, that's yeah. the christmas article yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is december they put it out every year i know all of a sudden you got a lot of long lost relatives too when that article goes out <laughs> yeah. Derek, your cousin from like alabama's calling who <laughs> and, then, what? and then dk to message back you know like i smartened up to, to not to not go on the message board certainly don't search my name when things are going bad but i mean when your family starts like discovering that message board and seeing the stuff that they say about us i don't do the message board i did it once in rhode island when we first got there and somebody wrote it was actually a heading that was like i had a, my own heading like andrea hurley and then they wrote um Andrea Hurley was in Newport looking at $3 million houses with my cousin, who is a realtor, and they're buying one next week. I was like, we're renting a house. I've never looked at, and then about 32 other schmoes commented on it. Like, oh yeah, they're going here, down this street, this street. Like I wasn't, I wasn't even in yeah. I was, we were, I was coaching high you school moron? like three years earlier. I was moving <laughs> three yeah, wait, Like we literally just <laughs> like, yeah, we, we no, no. Yeah. Oh, I know the stories people. Oh, I stop. Right. It's that's yeah. how rumors get started. Well, I would give one advice to the, the wives that are either on this podcast. Listen, there's a thing called the mute button on Twitter and, and Instagram. I believe Instagram. I'm just learning that now. I'm getting good at it. I've, I've done some Insta stuff recently, um, but anybody I don't want to see what they say about me, I mute. Yeah. And they think you're, and when they come up to you, they're like, Hey, how you doing? And you just give them a big hug. And you don't even know what they're saying. And they're probably absolutely crushing you when you're, when you're <laughs> around. And you're like, this guy's the best. Because I don't listen to a word he or she says ever. <laughs> well, like I said, Andrea on a Facebook thread where like, you know, I, I have a lot of friends on Facebook, which they aren't really my friends. They're just like nosy people. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually seen threads go on with me, like friends with the people and they're like trashing Derek. And I'm like, this is bizarre. And I've chimed in actually a couple of times like, hey, thanks for the uh, thanks for the comment. That's great. I'll pass it on to Derek. You know what I mean? I'm like, 
Did so, you know? so what's the toughest part of being like, um, I guess a coach's wife and kind of having to deal with our moving around and our day to day. I mean, I, I know Danny is somewhat intense. I've coached against him a few times, <laughs> and, uh, you know, probably likewise. Uh, what do you guys think about having to deal with us when we come home and when, maybe we haven't decompressed yet per se. Ugh, God, it's tough because, well, you know what it is? Uh, he's so different on the court than he is at home. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he is and I mean there's been a few times I mean when if he loses I actually wish he came home mad you know like throwing shit but he comes home very quiet and keeps to himself and doesn't talk so like you know you can't add, like I'll say you know do you want this and he'll be like are you fucking kidding me like I'd be like oh. <laughs> Like, I realize that you could curse on this podcast. This is a family. Is this a family pod. We're not sure. But they, they edit. I don't know. <laughs> but like you know, it's just you have the, the eggshell part of it. It's like you don't know. Do you give him a hug when he comes in? If, oh, yeah. if and then I'll be like, you weren't supposed to win, which is probably something I should never say. You no, know, well, like, no matter what you say, <laughs> no, no, it's no. the wrong thing. No, so don't say that. Yeah. No hug either, Derek. Right? No like hug. no hug. Don't then, touch no. me. Don't come near yeah. me for <laughs> two days. <laughs> In the early years of our relationship, I would call him after every game, win or lose, you know. And then I mean, over the past how many years? I don't even call him. It may be no. two days before we speak. You know? We get a few more losses now, so that's we don't speak for like six months. You know? <laughs> In fact, this is the first time we've talked since last season. But <laughs> well, I always say that, like when you get to a school, it's like the first couple years is like your honeymoon stage. So, like when you lose, I'm like, we're rebuilding. You rebuild. You rebuild. Like it's not. It's not a big deal. And then, right. like like starting like last year, like this, and then last year was like COVID. Okay. Like this year, um, it's going to be tough. Like each game, it's going to be like, you know, like, cause now you're getting nervous that, you know, it actually is starting to get. Well, thanks a lot. Now I, I feel more pressure. than <laughs> I was actually feeling pretty good. You know, <laughs> the year, that's I don't have to do any of that meditation and all this other stuff until the season starts. And I'm like, Oh, who can talk to me? <laughs> I love that Danny meditate. I, you know, I see your post too. Cause I like to meditate. I got Derek into it last year. I think it's so helpful. Right. Yeah. D DK, you doing it? Do you do yeah, it? I, I, I do it mostly during the season. Out of season, I'm kind of like the beach is my meditation. <laughs> now it's like I'm, I'm into a full blast. And actually, Dan, I'm trying to exercise more. Playing in like a men's league. Got 27 opening night, just just in case you're wondering. 27. Did you make your, your, your Achilles was the, the perimeter <laughs> shot. Did you I'm make not, threes? Couple, no, did you make some threes? Couple. I was... I shot more than I was allowed to when I played in college. So it was good. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Coach Kell said, get the ball to Cambian Row and get out of the way. <laughs> no, D DK was a very affectionate, you know, like term we used to play. Derek was a dog. Like played like a dog. It looks DK, like that. ultimate compliment. Ultimate compliment. <laughs> we always used to try to keep up with these guys, so. Yeah, DK was a dog. Andrea, should oh. we ask? Should we ask them if we've ever embarrassed them? Yeah. One of our topic yeah. questions. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah DK, you go first because I'm no, never, never, never. She's never yelled at a ref for opposing somebody or whatever. Never. And Nicole's highly intense, um, in a good way. Like she's a fighter from New York, and you know, <laughs> I, I I bring the Springfield chill mode. Uh, I wouldn't say embarrassed, but like scrap some you know uh, yelled at refs a few times i'm um, sorry to all the refs i'm not gonna bring the name up or whoever but her and my dad in springfield one time just absolutely went after this guy <laughs> i was like Shh, he might not give us another call the rest of the, the year and now building on like seven years but um <laughs> it's all in good you know all good fun and, and toughness i'd say i probably have embarrassed her a few more times than her me but it's all good. I yeah. have I have the one time he embarrassed me. Hmm. When one? you when you played Seton Hall your first year. I think it was oh. your alma mater, Seton Hall. Yeah. And he fell. Yeah. That's line. what I was gonna say. Fucking fell like <laughs> a nut bag. And everybody was like, 
you're a loser, loser. <laughs> I was like, you're th- that's kind of funny though. It's like- <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say about this one. What was it? Two seasons ago. If you see the camera, it wasn't that dramatic and the ball came over and, or somebody came in. No, I took you. a charge. It a wasn't a guys, charge. They, and then, yes. but then he rolled back and like threw his, like his shoes behind his head, you oh, know, yeah. and then like rolled well, back. DK, DK, that's how you take a Come charge. On, dude, you have like, to that learn, was you have so roll. unnecessary. <laughs> like one minute he was there, the next minute he's, he's not there. He's on the floor. <laughs> like that's- How do you girls do it? Because I will say we're, we're almost borderline, you know, crazy at times of, you know, you, you, your energy comes out, your enthusiasm, your, and you're like, that's my husband. (laughs) It's embarrassing. (laughs) The theatrics are beyond. Yeah, no, it's beyond. It's a lot. It's a lot. Derek, I mean, you're talking to a woman that I don't know, like what year, maybe it's like my second, third year at Rhode Island, like in, in an older ornery uh you know fan was I guess doing a lot of screaming and it was like very very personal very direct at the players I don't think she cares if people yell at me I don't I mean she yells at me so it's like whatever but they were yelling at the play this guy was like really nasty Rhode Island fan and she climbed up like six seven rows and tried to get at him I did you know like a a true Jersey girl well, yeah. you know what it is when they're quiet. Like, I know how hard these kids work. Like, you know it. Like, you know what they go through, the practice, the study. Hall. Like, you know what they go through. I, they do not want to miss a free throw. They're not standing there in front of you so they can miss it. Like, they're trying their hardest. And our own, when your own fan is shitting on one of their players, like, yeah. loud enough when it's quiet in a, in a, in an arena where everybody could hear you and you're nonstop about it. It just, something snaps. And I literally hauled ass up like Interesting. five Usually It's always an older man that's doing it. And you're like, I didn't like, know he was that old. That's why I stopped. In your spare time, dude, like reading stats. Well, like. I told him to go the, go home and watch it from TV. Do yourself a favor. Like nobody needs, he's like a donor. I'm like, nobody needs your freaking $500. Go home, watch it from home. Do everybody like that's You're not a fan. Like get no. the hell out of here. I think she got a standing ovation in her section. I did. Uh, and then I felt bad great. because they were all yelling at the guy. I felt so terrible. He and didn't. then they wanted me to call and apologize. No, he didn't yeah. do it. You know, he didn't look like he had a, a sports background either, just from what I remember, how his physical condition and the way he kept himself. No, but it, he wasn't there next <laughs> game. They moved his ass somewhere else. I but. think they moved him down to the baseline. He was the guy yelling at me like four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, with, the, with the signs, nice joke. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Jay. 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 Yeah. He, was, he was not that guy. Yeah, we had fun though. Oh. We were, we he was a great game. fan. Like he I want him to great. be like a fan of LIU. Yeah, Brooklyn. we're trying to hire him at LIU. <laughs> I know yes. he was good. He was good. No, Jay, we miss Jay. Yeah. Oh man. Good. Yeah. Um, but I agree with you, Andrea. To that point, it is hard sitting there listening to fans talk about the the players personally because at the end of the day, they're kids. They're kids, know? and they now they could be our kids. Nice. What are we going to do when they start yelling at our kids in the, from the stand? It's coming. It's coming. I didn't have it last year, but um, with Andrew on the team this year, it's coming. And I have to mentally prepare myself because, I mean, like I said, he gets paid for it. You want to yell at him, yell at him all day long. Who gives a shit? If you're yelling at him, that's because he, he did something <laughs> wrong. Yelling. You know, like that means he's good at what you're doing. If somebody's that obnoxious, it means like you're 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 doing a good job. So let or him, or I'm doing really bad. Or you do actually. Oh, I <laughs> like, want to say that, but you're doing really bad. Yeah. But you go after my kid, and it's it's going to be a whole new ball game. Be a whole new ball. Yeah. Yeah. I so I, I'm going to have to uh, come up with a plan with, for myself because. Um, I don't know, but I, it's coming. You know, yeah, it is. You need a strategy. Yeah. Cause yes. somebody's going to say something stupid. Yeah. Well, no, they're going to yell. They're, they're going to yell at, 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 at Andrew, like on the road. I mean, it's going to be vicious. Yeah. You know? Yes. You know, plus he's, he's got, he's a lot like me. So he's like a little asshole. So he's not, <laughs> gonna, he won't diffuse it. <laughs> Yeah, he'll go right back at it. Well, right. it's funny. Max is thirteen now. He's super tall. 
and he is like he likes he says mom i'm a gentle giant he doesn't like confrontation except when he's on the basketball court yeah animal they get I'm crazy like, who's that kid i didn't raise that kid yeah <laughs> it's he's weird like person that you suck you know he's a talker i'm like damn <laughs> yeah. Do you do do you guys remember a particular game where where the behavior or sideline antics did go past the point where you could you weren't completely mortified? What do you mean, like like an ejection? Did that, no, no, just a game. Like Derek, any ejections on in Derek's uh, dossier? Uh, no. I don't think I have any ejections. I've gotten pretty close a few times. How about you? Hmm. No, a couple. <laughs> 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 I think okay. year one here twice. Madison Square Garden was another. That, yeah, that was, was always. That was part no, of I've it. always wanted to know, what do you do when you get ejected? You just go sit, do you watch the game from the locker room? Well, the, the, the game at the garden, you know, what we... There was only about 15 seconds left. So, <laughs> you you know, like, so yeah. But then at Tulsa. <laughs> that was on your birthday. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was my like, birthday. I always Tulsa. got some idiot coach saying, don't get ejected. It's going to look bad or bad. hold them back. I'm like, let me just get thrown out. I want to go watch the game in the locker room You're or right. do something crazy. Like, yeah. You yeah, just yeah. inspired me this year. I'm going to be, I want to be crazy. <laughs> I feel like the officer, the officers are the, the, she was very nice and you know, hey, we need you to leave. And they were they set up a closed circuit TV. I was able to watch Kamani <laughs> coach the rest of it. Yeah, you hooked him up at home, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was a get him get him his feet wet. Hell of a birthday present. Yeah, but that was weird because both coaches got ejected, like Tulsa and and him so it was like yeah. i was like wait what i'm like what a little jerk da, da, da. i'm like yelling over there and then i'm just like oh he's gone too oh he's i'm like what the frick just happened because dk we were we were like you know he was reacting i think to my antics so we had begun to kind of jaw at each other so then we got the first technical right and then then we decided to like let's come together and and fist bump it so then we were out of the box so that's why so we were we were enemies then we tried to make quick friends and then they threw us out for leaving the coaching box to fist bump and i was out yeah you can't after that initial you can't even be friends anymore they get <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it could have been a feel-good moment too people no, we watched out. that game i was sitting right here in my nice you know new york city apartment with the walls that looked like an asylum right now, you know? <laughs> this is this was a um uh, a sublet, a temporary sublet that we've turned into a permanent situation. <laughs> so now we got to make you put some pictures on the wall. So we haven't hung anything on the wall. Yeah, like, but then yeah. you walk outside, and that's that's your like that's what nobody has. Like it's I come home and bang my head if we lose. Just ah, it is, you know we don't own it, so it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of own, do you do any work around the house? Like other, like do you do anything else? Like do you? Fix things like does he does he know about the basement? Yes. Oh, oh. Does, say, De does Derek do anything but coach? Yeah, that's what I was trying yeah. to say without like saying it. Yeah. Is that a loaded question? I mean, does Dan because <laughs> I'm like Bob Vila? <laughs> I'm the guy that fixes stuff and then it breaks again, but I feel like I did something. And well, that's good. That's yeah. effort. Yeah. I don't know. During pandemic, Derek tried to take over all my household duties because he couldn't go coach and and go to work every day so we started washing rugs and furniture <laughs> <laughs> it's like what is the fuck is going on yeah. yeah oh yeah it was it was bizarre it was like yeah. i have pictures of it yeah, and then she was the coach she sat back in the chair <laughs> yeah. well, I, did, I, did, I did i did most of my damage outside i just you know growing up in jersey city you don't have much of a lawn and then you get tasked with like trying to grow grass and feeling that pressure in your development where everyone else's lawn yeah. looks good and yours looks just dreadful. Yeah. But our lawn was like this big. Like we, we were in like <laughs> patio homes. So we all our houses. Paper. 
yeah, well, all our houses looked the same and our lawn was so small. And he used to like have the nerve to rent like aerators, <laughs> like, you know, like the like, like, Home uh, Depot <laughs> seeds. And, and he would, he would, it would like <laughs> pour them across the lawn. A two by four patch of grass. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, it looked like a pitcher's mound. It and was then, like all dirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, then our neighbor across the way had beautiful, she, it was a woman who did beautiful, beautiful lawn. I mean, she, her grass was, and ours always looked like, like it wasn't good. It wasn't good. And she- the lady with the cat. Yeah. So when we were moving, she came and they hated each other. Hated. She like, had a stray cat. Like it's like a, what do you call the cat that's not in the house with you? That's like a- A stray cat. A stray like, cat. Oh, outdoor cat. An okay. outdoor cat. And it used to like shit all over our lawn. So like I would pull up to the house at night and literally the cat would be like on our front steps or like the top of the grass, like dropping, dropping a deuce. <laughs> and, it, and my lights would come on and it would like lock right in on the cat and it didn't care you know like it like just continued to, to have, have a, it's happy at your home <laughs> yeah so he used to yell at her and be like to get your fucking cat off my lawn <laughs> and it was so embarrassing. I didn't so curse like, at you her. did. You no. oh, you did. You cursed at everybody. Remember, you didn't do everybody no. in there. And yeah. then um, and then she, when we were moving, she came over to say goodbye. And she said, you know why your grass didn't look good? Because you always cut it way too low. Like and the then last she day. walked like, away. Like the last day that she got in the moving truck and left. Like, she, like what a witch. <laughs> That's awesome. So he doesn't do anything, nothing. Yeah. Like he doesn't know when things break. And in this house that we live here in Connecticut, it's it, everything has broke like everything is broke and I'm trying not especially like if it's a game and we have no hot water I'm like sweating I come home I'm sweating I test the hot water I test the heat I test make sure everything is like working correctly and then I'll like make sure but everything goes but if if, if it doesn't he doesn't know about it I don't it. love the way I'm being portrayed here well no I'm just, like, 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 I no but what I I'm trying don't. to say is like you take the stresses off like like our it's not easy to run a whole household. Like you have to do, we have to do a lot of like things that men do. It's like you coach and that is it. Like that is it. I like, don't know that necessarily My umbrella today, is huge. I have a huge umbrella. I don't think families necessarily function that like in that traditional sense, Derek, anymore. I think right now, like men or women can be responsible for yeah. these yeah. things, right? And it uh, runs our whole everything. I'm just kind of. I don't know what I do, I guess sometimes. He tried to <laughs> <laughs> I run it all. Well, let's put it this way. The toilet's running right now. It's been running for two weeks, but neither one of us knows how to fix it. So we're probably flooding the person's apartment below us. Sorry. <laughs> Derek probably goes to the food store. Derek, you go to the food store? I'm, I'm the best. I go, the, she likes he, to go, she goes to aisle to aisle. aisle. Oh, yeah. Here we down go. the aisle, down the aisle. I'm like, what do we need? We need bread, milk, and some eggs or whatever it is. Let's just go get those. Aisle, aisle, aisle. I'm like, right? You like that's my therapy. Yeah. Me too. My therapy is whipping through there and grabbing the stuff and getting out of there as he fast as possible. Like, where is your list? <laughs> Like a practice plan. I you don't can't make a, a list. Practice plan. Practice plan. <laughs> He's like, you need a fucking list. I don't know. My list is up here. This is yeah. my list. <laughs> and you're there every day so it's like i know everything is but this is flipped because like derek like I, that's part of like my weekly therapy like i go to the food store and i'm like going up and down every <laughs> aisle what the fuck are you talking about you go to the food store i don't go to whole foods you go up and down every aisle in whole foods you come you back he comes back with raisin bread <laughs> and Carrots with those long, um, oh, yeah, like, like, like carrots. bunny carrots. Beets. Funny. You know, like I like to roast beets. He comes always a beet. Yeah, beet. I do. I do think there is like a thing. Coaches, I find. I mean, I only know you two. I don't know any other coaches. <laughs> <laughs> You're very specific about your things. Like you don't really stray from what you like. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I won't say this much. I think Dan can say the same thing. We'll be wearing masks for the next 12 years, even if you don't have to anymore. So nobody knows who you are when you go to the grocery store. <laughs> wait, we might have to wrap this up because we've been on for 45 minutes, but I don't know how long. I We can go on forever. I don't know, Andrea, how long we're supposed to be. I don't either. 
um, yeah, how much did you love pandemic when you could just go out in public with a mask on all the time? Yeah. Eric was like, I'll go anywhere. Where do you want to go right now? <laughs> no, I know. I know. And I used to just put makeup on my eyes, like here, and then we took it off. It was like like white melasma. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Derek, if you wear the mask and like a St. Benedict sweatshirt in Connecticut, no one knows who you know. Oh. Well, we were up in uh, Amherst for the pandemic because we still have our house up there. And uh, I'd go to the grocery store with a mask on, some random Adidas sweatshirt hat and see people like, you know, that you think you might know. And I'm just like, hey, what's up? And they had no clue who you were. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you can't miss this stuff. This is yeah, like... Yeah. <laughs> There's only like few people in the country that have that these days, yeah. you know? <laughs> Hey, Dan and I used to have full heads of hair before this coaching profession. Just oh, like, I know. Oh. I, 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 I saw it, actually. I saw, it was very short, but I did see it. Jet black. Jet black. <laughs> Jet black. And we colored it for years, too, remember? For years. Mm -hmm. What was that, Just for Men? Just for Men. And then it yeah. was getting so white that the, the, the color would turn purple. You know, when, like, you dye gray hair? It yeah. becomes purple and well actually no you went he used to get it he went to like i don't know like beachcomber or somewhere to get like it it died and he comes home and in the light it's barney purple and i was like your hair is purple he's like you're so jealous I'm like, <laughs> well you know the, the a beautician i don't know who, who i don't even know he's like, he's you're talking. jealous no no she said to me like you know, when I went in to get a haircut, she's like, you know, you're too young looking to stay gray. I think you'd, you'd look great if you dyed it. So yeah. I, I scheduled the appointment. I came in like for the next haircut and I got the dye job there. This and is like, I like, this is hilarious. <laughs> it, was a, it was an abomination though. It was bad. Yeah, but you can't go, you can't go that gray and then come back with purple black hair like that's just especially when you coach kids you know mm -hmm. well i think there's people that are doing that i there's made profession that are, that do that. i made derek color my hair during covid i don't know if you want everybody to know that but i was like you got to help me color my hair <laughs> he did he put on the gloves he massaged the come color. on you can't tell people that i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was either derek or max and i don't think yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't even go there because he skeeves My everything so and I'm bright. like now I'm gonna go to practice and scream at the guys and they're gonna be like you you color your wife's hair get out of here <laughs> we could tell them to edit that part of yeah hey Nicole did you like having Derek home so much he went you went from like never being home to now it was an adjustment <laughs> it was a huge adjustment I was like uh all right like you said he tried to take over my household duties you know, it was he was doing everything that I would have normally done on a daily basis because he was bored to death. How about you, Andrea? It was a lot. I mean, because everywhere I was, he was. You know, it was like <laughs> <laughs> there it was is like, everywhere there I is. go, and there you are. There he is. It's like, yeah. and he would set up like he would make he would do calls from morning to night, and he would set up like he'd be in the kitchen when I needed to, like you know do stuff in the kitchen, unload the dishwasher. So I'd have to put that aside. Then I would go, you know, somewhere else. And then there he is. I couldn't watch TV. I couldn't do anything. But you know what? Like, honestly, I felt, I felt like so a jerk. Simple. What? I just think it, it was, uh, you, you were offended by the fact that I had so much structure in my day. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, like I actually craft a plan yeah. and then I, you know, like I try to. Oh my God, you sound just like Derek. Well, if you'd get up and you had a routine, then like your day would be smoother and better. Like what do you, you know, like you have to get up and work out. Can you get up and work out every day? Yeah. yeah. Well, like, you know, oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. I'm trying to do stuff. And everyone, what are you doing? What are you doing? What, what's going on? Who's texting you? Who's calling? I, I mean, I don't know. Do you know this guy or this person from 1987 that texts me? <laughs> what they say oh. how about did you know how to use all the technology Derek was like you know everybody started using zoom and he's like you know holding the phone up <laughs> he's, 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 he's trying to talk to his entire team on his cell phone I'm like what the, somebody teach this guy how to use a zoom I thought what? it was the Atari 2600 oh shit. My God. <laughs> 
People are like, never, yeah. you got to watch this show. When I start out, yeah, The Sopranos is great. Uh, this is the first <laughs> time I've watched it. Yeah, <laughs> 12 years after uh, it started, you know. We watched Ozarks during COVID. Did you guys watch any shows during the pandemic? Oh, it was yeah. really dark and depressing. I don't I don't think I watched. I did. Here's the thing with no, me. No, we don't we'll watch the real estate shows. Yeah, we watch real estate shows. Yeah. Like, I only watch reality, but... Um, and I don't like reality. He doesn't like reality. But like, I just, I couldn't believe that somebody's like my day to like, I mean, and we've talked, we've talked about this all the time, Nicole. It's like, I get up, I'm nonstop all day. Like, I don't sit down. I don't watch TV. I don't really, but then I look back at my day and I'm like, what the frick did I get done? Like nothing. And he, like, <laughs> and he said, you were the most inefficient person. Inefficient, I have, yes. in, inefficient person yeah. I have ever met. Inefic okay, I, inefficient. Okay, like, inefficient. Like, but that goes back to the whole basis of this podcast because we, as coaches' wives, do nothing all day except eat bonbons. Supposedly, <laughs> that's, cool. that's what everybody thinks no. or says. Yeah, she's like a she's like a volume score. You know, like she she in the end she's produced a lot, but she's she's inefficient. She you know like she could have use such less energy right. to accomplish everything it eventually gets done but i have to go yes. oh my you also God. have it sounds exactly like a like four five six seven things all going at once but you could just knock one out and then one out and then one out yeah you know I and like you deal with everything right like uh, kids medical oh, bills yeah. <laughs> right like yeah. i haven't i i mean if, if one of my kids has a health problem, I'm going to go to the doctor with them. But in, just in general, they do pay mortgages, like phone bills, cable. Well, that just did. I could run off with every penny right now and he wouldn't even know what no the fuck. I, he'd have no idea. Go. Come on, where are we going? You're probably careful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Say the, the, I, there's not one article of clothes in his closet that I think he actually paid for outside of like Yukon and Nike clothes. Like yeah. when we go out, he's like, what am I going to wear this shirt or this shirt? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I was waiting for the boxer shorts to come from one of the companies that, you know, <laughs> well, that's, that, that's, I, I missed some of that. Max was texting me, but um, yeah, you wear the, like the same clothes all the time. Like his, all the time. Yeah, yeah. He's not interested in really not interested. But, you know, no, it's got a uniform. You know, a uniform, a, exactly. This is the lucky shirt. We won last game. I'm gonna wear this till we lose. Yes, and it's got balls on it. You're like, you're like in picking the balls off. Yeah. I'll stick with the draws. Like I'll, I'll uh, stay with the lucky, That the could lucky be one shirt. last question. Talk about I want to hear about your superstitions. Do you have them? Oof. Um yeah, like same. Like the game day, like same type of like pregame routine. Um, I eat M and M's, but only to cut like, but not the colors of the other team. So if they wear like red and blue, I'll pick the red and blue M and M's out. I won't eat them. That uh, is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I'll go in like right before tip, like that last part, DK, when you before you go out. I'll, I'll do like my prayer. Uh, you know, I'll pray. I'll find like a a stall in the bathroom where I could be by myself, say a quick prayer, um, you know, and then unlike clothes, like socks, like if I win in the socks, I'll stay with the socks. I got, uh, I wear like the Miundi underwears. So they got like some of the cool designs on them. So I found these shark underwears last year that were like killing it. So <laughs> <laughs> Don't I wrote those, I wrote like those in the <laughs> <laughs> It's, yeah. it's funny how crazy we actually are because I'll do the same thing, a pair of socks or a, a tie or this. I mean, I, one year I wear the same suit, same tie, same everything for like nine straight games. Yeah. <laughs> like hanging it in the uh, bathroom with the steam to yeah. try to act like it's not. Like, it's don't clean. touch my sap. I was like, that's really going to go to the dry cleaner. God forbid, I mean. Yeah, okay, like World War Three. Yeah. For me, like that worst time is when you wake up the day of the game. Like from when you wake, from when I wake up to when I leave the house, it's like the worst time for me. I'm just like a nervous wreck. Once I get to school or whatever, I get to shoot around, I'm much better. So for me, Nicole, I'll, I'll wear like superhero socks. I know 48 year olds should not admit that they do that, but like, I feel like it gives me like a little bit of superhero yeah. strength. 
Yeah. And I need company, Andrea. Like, I don't know about Danny, but I need company. Like, I need people around me to. So, Nicole and I, on game days, we walk. Like, we walk. Like, well, that's here in, in New, New York, York because the yeah. scene, it's so different being in New York City. But we'll walk like 10 miles and then grab, like, if there's a lucky breakfast spot somewhere. LePain, <laughs> LePain, <laughs> Cody Den was lucky for a while and then yeah. we lost, and that place is out. You know, we found a new one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but. And then you're like, there's no such thing as superstition. That's all bullshit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How about like a specific person? Like we've had family members that I'm pretty sure I'm not going to name their names. Have never been to a game that Derek's won at any school he's ever worked. At. <laughs> like that's called the mush. The mush. mush. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We have some of those uh -huh. some wishes. Yeah. And you're like, you're like, come to the division seven game we're playing on November 4th on a Saturday. So you can break the curse. Yeah. And then so lo and behold, you lose that one too. You're like, never again. Come yeah. back. Yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. They just passed the rule. No, no family allowed to go to this next game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to make shit up. I know. Oh, we've done that too. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry everyone. Yeah. yeah double oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. when you see him there derek you know you're gonna lose it's right like, like you look behind the bench oh you're yeah. like i'm in deep trouble <laughs> or like an assistant coach wears like a certain color pants or tie or suit and you're like why would you do that that is so unlucky don't ever do that again <laughs> Or yeah. a player changes their hairstyle. <laughs> yes. Or they cut their hair. Or I'm uh -huh. like, no, yeah. no. No, that's a tell. That's, <laughs> that's a tell. That's really bad. I'm looking yeah. at everybody in the whole stadium. That person cut their hair. That one got different size. <laughs> so we're all fucking crazy. Is the we are. are. <laughs> yeah. And we want to talk about it. Yeah. We have so much to talk about. We have so many... Um, different topics, our kids, everything. So there's so much we need to get to. And so many people we're going to bring in to see how they go through theirs. I'd love, I mean, I'd love one day to hear like how like Mrs. K does it. Like, you know, I like one day he was leaving the house um, when you were talking about like before a game and I was, um, stop staring at me. Um, when we were like, <laughs> Well, it was like a crazy game and he usually gets dressed um, it, when we played XL, but he won when he didn't. And so he was staying home until he had to leave. So that I didn't realize that. So it cut into my time and game day. He doesn't like getting into a wet shower. Derek, that's not true. No, I, I didn't call my phone. Yeah. I didn't like grow up like super pampered, you know, like where I, I expect like the, the shower floor to be bone dry. Like that's not, I don't well, think no, anyone's no. going to Like I that. wouldn't dare. Like there's been times in at like we're in hotels for games that I've had to shower. And yeah. then I'm in there with like seven towels, like wiping everything down. And so there's no like air well, with towels like this. So like the yeah. seat goes. Uh, we go so through that. Nervous. The minute uh, yeah. Derek takes a shower, my hair frizzes. I'll have my yeah. hair done to go to a wedding and he showers and sit. And yeah. Did. You just uh -huh. killed my hair. Like, yeah. 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 Well, that's it. But this one particular game, it was XL last, it was terrible two years ago and he had to leave. And um, I had a very short amount of time to get ready. And he was, it wasn't, he's just very quiet and he walks so heavy with his heels. Like, so he was like walking around his the heels. house <laughs> with his heels, like digging into the Heel ground. Walk. So, and it was like, it just makes me very nervous. So I kept, and he kept asking me for things like I, you know, that's my game, game time, right? Nicole was like, to make uh -huh. sure everything is in order like the lucky uh -huh. dark underwear the socks the this the that you yeah. know where's my pin where's this was this so it's like that's your that's my game so everything had to be ready by the time he left i closed the door and it was just like a natural thing i i fell like right you know like it was like a movie you close the door yeah, and then lie down, down the door. Door. yeah and i sat on the door and i started i'm not a cartoon i just started like 
oh, crying, <laughs> but then I started laughing because I'm just like, who else is like this distress? I was like shaking to get him out of the house in perfect order, you know, like without any like yeah. bump. Derek, I'm just like really quiet the, the morning. Like I'm not a monster. And I feel like I've been portrayed no, no, that I'm way on I'm here. So I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm just like very quiet, introspective, <laughs> like nerve, I'm anxious because you want to just get out the of the anxiety house. Anxiety is like yes. I've I've had to say to him, like in years past, you need to manage that anxiety because that shit is like real. Yeah. It's so much harder when you were a high level player to then coach to get ready for the game. When you were a player, it was like, all right, I'm just going to go out there. And, and, and when you're coaching, you have to manage like a thousand different things. And once in a while, I, if I have a little anxiety, you know, I apologize. <laughs> once in a while, if I'm a little edgy, I'm sorry about that. You know, it, it, it's true. Kind of, you know. <laughs> truth, truth. So funny. Well, thank you guys for thank you. being our first guest. First, first guest. You'll never see you, we'll never see you again here because you don't fit our you don't fit it. You don't fit our criteria of what we what we're going for. But thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you for helping us. Not much well, thank, you, thank you guys for having us. It was it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. DK, it's gonna be a blast. I'm gonna uh, I will be subscribing to this particular show. Yes. Uh, I cannot wait to see what you two come up with. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>